prayers today for the victims shot by a masked gunman moments after church services concluded on Sunday. This is a level one uh, mass casualty incident. Six people injured. A seventh, 39-year-old Melanie Smith, killed in the parking lot. Her 19-year-old daughter, Brianna. There's no understanding it. The suspect, 25-year-old Emmanuel Kidega Sampson, accidentally shot himself when an usher wrestled him to the ground. 22-year-old Caleb Engel held the alleged gunman at bay with his own pistol. Ah, oh, he's my hero. Minerva Rosa was feet from the gunman as he began shooting. Her six-year-old son and seven other kids in a Bible study class barricading themselves behind a closed door. What about your own safety? You know, you are a mother. You don't even think about you. According to an affidavit, Samson admitted he was armed with a handgun and that he fired upon the church building. Samson, an amateur bodybuilder studying to become a security guard, emigrated to this country from Sudan as a child. Police records show Samson was involved in two domestic disturbances earlier this year. No charges were ever filed. In another report, police say Samson texted his father in June that he had put a gun to his head, threatening suicide. Tonight, the FBI has launched a civil rights investigation, hoping to find a motive for his alleged attack at a church where parishioners say he had occasionally visited. I just want to know why, why he, why he came to the church, why, why he did, why he did. Kerry Sanders, NBC News, Antioch, Tennessee. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.